Now, a cafe owner from Coventry says he's concerned about the safety of his coffee suppliers, affected by Cyclone Edai that's battered southeastern Africa. We've been watching the TV pictures, haven't we, from Mozambique and the fallout from the cyclone that spread into neighbouring Zimbabwe. Aid agencies are struggling to reach survivors of the storm. It's left hundreds dead and thousands more homeless. Delighted to say joining me in the studio tonight is Hilary Chindodo. Hi, Hilary. How are you? Hi, Phil. Good to see you. Good and see uh, you your coffee shop is the Changa Miri Coffee House on Corporation Street. Indeed. You say that very well. That's all right. OK, we've rehearsed it enough times. We've already went away. <laughs> so there we go. All right. OK, well, hopefully yeah. people, people will recognise that uh, from that description. And you get your coffee direct from farmers in Zimbabwe. Yes, indeed. Right. Uh, and uh, that is the f uh, coffee farming region So in, in Zimbabwe. So that's where we actually get all our coffee from. So that uh, makes this. your... Obviously, your coffee shop quite unique because of that. Indeed, right. indeed, uh, because we're trying to see if we can uh, get the farmers as close to their cup of coffee as possible yeah. uh, so that they remain in the value chain all the way to the end. And I know you were, you were only out in this region uh, collecting coffee as recently as, uh, as ja when? January. January, yeah. okay. So I was actually in, in the same region that has uh, been hit oh, yeah. by the cyclone. All right. So you, uh, have you been in touch with any people out there? Is, are you able to contact them or is all contact now, well, are they uncontactable because right. of what's happened? So there are three districts that have been affected. Um, all the coffee growing region, there's the district of Vumba, uh, Chimani Mani and Chipinge. Mm -hmm. And the hardest hit has been Chipinge. So from the farmers that I work with, uh, most of them are in Vumba. They've just experienced a lot of rain and some flooding. Right. But uh, so far, um, the reports, uh, they're okay. Right. But it is in Chimani Mani where uh, we've got uh, particularly one of the farmers that um, we work with. At the minute, we've not been able to get in touch. Really? Uh, so the coffee mill... You has, can't locate him. Uh, they've not been able to get in touch. Uh, so we are currently just thinking it's because he doesn't have a smartphone. He uses the old Nokia phones. All right. So possibly okay. because he's not on WhatsApp, he's not on... And maybe Signal is, is bad because of what has happened. So we are hoping that's the case. Okay. And give me some idea of what this will mean. These... I mean, and we'll have seen plenty of these pictures the last few days on our, on our TV screens and the TV news. Uh, what this will mean to to the coffee growers out there? I'm assuming that their their whole crop is washed away and lost. Devastating. This this is uh, uh, you know, if you think that they've already had their own problems that we've been trying to work with since over the last twenty years, mm. um, where they're trying to come back and start producing more coffee, better quality coffee, and then what has happened, uh, particularly in Shimani Mani, would have wiped out their crop, essentially. And these are coffee trees. You, you, you plant one today, the first harvest is going to be in three years. Right. So, so if, if, that, if that's that wiped goal, out, that's three years wiped out. Yes. Um, I know you're organising a fundraiser at uh, your cafe at yes. uh, Changamiri coffee house uh, just explain a bit more about this and what you've managed to achieve so far so what we've done is uh, we've put out um, just a collection jar uh, in the coffee shop so people can can drop in whatever amount um, they can drop in as as the because the coffee comes from there we are taking out 25p out of every cup right that we are selling and then that is also going to go towards uh, relief efforts and um, and then we've joined up uh, with um, with our church, so we are offering a drop off um, place. Right. So we. So will this is the, this is we should say a local church in Willen Hall. Just can yeah. you, can we name the church? Yes, Go it on. is Apostolic Faith Mission or okay. AFM uh, Coventry in short. Um, we are so we are collecting clothing, blankets, you name it. Okay. That will then eventually send because the help is going to be even more critical in the aftermath. Once uh, the, the waters you know, have subsided. Believe, yes. yeah, yeah, sure. So, a, sp uh, a, po uh, a polystolic... Uh, uh, he re just say that again for me, uh, Hilary. A polystolic... Apostolic faith, faith mission. Mission. Okay. AFM. Right, AFM, Coventry, to donate blankets, clothing and the like. Yes. And if you want to donate, frankly, cold hard cash, it's uh, through... 
the coffee shop. How much have you managed to raise there? Because I know you've got a bit of a network, haven't you? Yes, the, the network we are working with, uh, set up by other Zimbabweans that are living uh, abroad, it yeah. was set up by a friend of ours in the United States, uh, Freeman Chari. Since Friday, uh, I was checking uh, while, while I was waiting to come in, um, it has got $39,871. Dollars. Wow! And, All right. Uh, it's so a GoFundMe. A yeah, it's a GoFundMe page. If you one goes there, uh, Zimbabwe Cyclone Relief, you'll find it, and uh, they well. can. Hilary, I wish you the best of luck with it all, really. I haven't seen the pictures thank, thank you, that we've seen. We are expecting an announcement from the Disasters Emergency Commission uh, at some point in the next 24 hours on relief and aid for that part of the world. But Hilary Chindodo, good to see you, and uh, the very best of luck with uh, your efforts from the Changa Miri Coffee House on Corporation Street in Cobb.